The purpose of this tag was to try to create that bokeh effect that you often see in photographer through an aperture setting or that blurred background that you often see on photographs. So this tag is utilizing ink and stenciling to try to duplicate that effect. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I try to deliver videos that are 10 to 15 minutes and are concise and to the point and don't waste a lot of time. So I hope you take a moment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for additional content. Bouquet is that background, that blurred background in photography. And I'm going to utilize stenciling circles to try to duplicate that. We will start this tag by laying down a blended ink background. I'm utilizing fern green, twisted citron, and some broken china. So we will get that ink down and get it blended together and then we will come back in with that moonlight white you see in the right hand side of the screen here and stencil some circles randomly across the top of this. So let's get started. So we have that ink laid down, blended, and I'm just creating my own stencil out of a paint sample card because I don't have anything with random small circles. So we'll just create that with a small hole punch and just randomly punch in this paint sample card. And then we shall lay down that white ink over the top of our blended pad. We have the background on the green tag. I'm going to utilize a thistle and a carnation red. This thistle is a purple red or a red purple and of course the carnation red is just that bright red. So we'll blend those two together and do the same thing with the moonlight white circles on top.
the outside edge of both of those with that jet black ink, just, you know, inking in the background. And now I'm just going to lay down some simple stamping on this tag. I don't want to create something overcomplicated. So I'm stamping a number on each. I think I've chosen a one and a three. And we shall just stamp those numbers down or that's a five actually so a three and a five going to add a little bit of cheesecloth to the side of this five because i got it a little crooked and i want to kind of disguise that so i'm going to add a little cheesecloth a little sorry silk knot might as well add a little cheesecloth to the side of the three with a tiny bit of white lace as well and now i think i would like to add some script to just beef it up a bit so we'll add some script up the side of each of those cards. And once we have that laid down, we'll add a little scroll on the opposing edges. Tie it off with some sari silk. And I believe we shall call that a wrap. So I have finished these two cards. I have attempted this bouquet effect. And I think it comes off fairly well. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. I do think it has a purpose for application. And I think as we move forward and as we try it over and over again, we can probably perfect this. But I just wanted to share the technique with you. I hope that you will sign up for my channel. Once again, my channel name is Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I try to produce short videos that create new techniques um, new ideas and your interpretation is of course always welcome i love your comments i like it when you share your your images as well please subscribe and i shall see you soon bye for now